Hey, uh, hey guys, uh, it is a uh, corner of our Sunday, uh, 376. Uh, and uh, today I want to talk about uh, vaccine uh, issues uh, and uh, some of the limitations. Uh, arousing questions uh, people uh, have but uh, but we're not getting these answers uh, like these FAQs frequently asked questions so so anyways uh, today uh, One, uh, one thousand five hundred and forty-six uh, case cases uh, today. Okay. Four sixty-five is from from Toronto. Cases are from Toronto. Three twenty-nine from Peel Region. One sixty-one from York Region, and ninety-nine from Durham Region. So Durham Region is still in the uh, it's on the high cases uh, list, uh, and this it's been like that for the past few weeks actually. All other regions are reported under 70. Oh, great. You know, if we have, if the, the, the other regions that have an average of under 70 cases, uh, you know, things are like getting worse. I remember when uh, we had, uh, I think last year, it was, uh, we had an uh, average of like uh, other regions reported under 100 cases or 120. Um, not to sh yeah, I think so. Yeah, it was around there. Nine deaths have been reported today. <sighs> variant coronavirus variant cases uh, are unfortunately uh, at 1359 UK variants, plus a uh, plus 19. Forty-seven uh, South African variants, where it's back to forty-seven. It was at forty-eight, and then forty-seven, and then, then forty-eight, and uh, yesterday, and then forty-seven. And thirty-seven uh, Brazilian variants, which is a uh, plus one. Not good news. So, anyways, uh, so vaccinations. Uh, this for currently for seventy five plus bookings. Uh, but with so many people voting, vaccine, being vaccinated at the same time, like you know, it's uh, really the number is really. Uh, so of course uh, you can go to Ontario www.ontario.ca slash booked vaccine if, if you want to do it by phone you can uh, call 1-888-999-6488 but here's here's the problem with uh, people like uh, so more vaccination centers are like uh, being a ex So uh, Doug Ford has said uh, Ontario was expecting to receive about three, 300,000 uh, doses of the Moderna vaccine this week, but only uh, received, we, that Ontario received uh, 90,000. So of course the Moderna vaccine, the Moderna Incorporated never explained why uh, they're uh, short having a short, shortage of shipments on uh, their vaccines uh, while the professor BioNTech uh, incorporated that uh, they explained that they were like uh, upgrading their facility in Belgium and uh, and of course so 
they're trying to mass produce uh, the vaccine, so they gave a, they gave a reason why. Moderna Incorporated didn't. And we don't like uh, no uh And then we don't know uh, when uh, the uh, next shipment of the, uh, the AstraZeneca vaccine uh, will come. And of course, uh, it's not the uh, reliable uh, vaccine, but it's being used uh, from those uh, 60, 60 plus. So uh, Doug Ford has, all, has also complained about like the lack of... Uh, adequate uh, vaccine supplies from the federal government and if Trudeau ain't going to do anything about it yeah we're dead so uh, if uh, some reports came in that uh, say that so uh, Joe Biden uh, said uh, got had that uh, you know US uh, send over some uh, vaccines uh, over over t over here to Canada but Will that be enough? I don't think so. So, uh, since yesterday, like lots of uh, people uh, 80, 75 years and plus and older uh, done booking vaccines. Uh, and of course, the pharmacy that, uh, you know, Toronto, Windsor, Essex region, and Kingston, Fontaine, Atlantic, and Addington region. Uh, they were like uh, giving uh, AstraZeneca shots to the, anyone 60 plus. But like, uh, but the pharmacy project, uh, uh, so of, apparently now they're now going to include uh, Peel region and York region. If, uh, at the province of fifty, even more doses the AstraZeneca the vaccine. Uh. But since but since uh, more people have gone eligible for the uh, getting vaccines, uh, of course that we're having like run outs. So there was a complaint uh, from someone in Toronto uh, who uh, trying to book her uh, parents uh, who live in uh, tr this person tr Hamilton, Ontario. Uh, she tried to book her two parents uh, a vac vaccine to get vaccinated in Toronto, and uh, they live in Toronto. And uh, of course, shoppers said and Costco. There was a it was full and uh, other pharmacies didn't answer their phones and but PharmaSave uh, emailed uh, and this uh, woman uh, say, say, telling, telling her that uh, they didn't know uh, how long the wait might be uh, for the vaccination and uh, vaccines are on limited supply. So some people have to like, apparently have to uh, go and uh, get a va vac booked vaccine appointments uh, at sports complex in uh, Mississauga. Apparently, some people had uh, some issues uh, with, uh, you know, it was uh, some lagging issues or, uh, or you know, time schedule and stuff. And uh, the farming. 
know, some people had it easy, some people didn't. However, it's still a disappointment that uh, Modern uh, Incorporated never explained why why we're we're having a shortage of uh, Like when it's supposed to like uh, get like a partial uh, batch, but uh, we're getting uh, a tiny bit, or well, thirty percent of the uh, yeah, then of the actual amount, and it's. And uh, as a reminder, you know the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine and the Moderna. Vaccine is the uh, most uh, double uh, compared to AstraZeneca is uh, vaccine is the uh, most uh, strong stronger uh, vaccine uh, that is a uh, is mostly effective against uh, variant cases too and which is good news. Johnson and Johnson single shot vaccine is also effective against uh, variant cases. AstraZeneca variant the uh, is vaccine is not uh, double shot vaccine is not effect, effective against the uh, variant cases, especially the South African variant. <laughs> and how will you still have some vaccine uh, concerns uh, app when uh? When the Euro European countries, like you know, like Denmark and uh, some other con surrounding countries, uh, they tried tried uh, using the AstraZeneca vaccine, and uh, they, some patients uh, end up having a blood clots in patients, and uh, they was... But the, the vaccination process better speed up uh, because uh, we might be entering uh, wave three of coronavirus uh, soon, uh, and yeah. Especially with the ma more UK variant cases are increasing. And I'm looking at a photo right now uh, of a of people lining up to get vaccinated and wow that's a hell lot of a lot of people So, uh, coronavirus uh, general rules up. Uh, so don't forget to, to wear uh, masks. Uh, keep your masks on uh, at all lineups, and keep two meters apart. No matter what, when you're getting shopping or going shopping or 
dining or drinking or whatever. I don't care. It's the rules. And of course, uh, personal care services that uh, required you to take uh, off your mask are still closed. Uh, of course, and liquors uh, is only served, sold and served from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and personal information required. Although some of some of businesses are not uh, have the exemption exception not to do that, but but I think that's a stupid idea because uh, say someone has the coronavirus or maybe the one of the variants, and then you know the health un local health union in that region needs to find out. So that was a bad decision. You know. So hospitalizations, 868 people are hospitalized at the coronavirus, that's a plus, plus 55, uh, I swear it's just getting worse. Three sit twenty four patients in ICU, plus twenty six, and uh, one ninety three uh, patients in uh, of them using a ventilator, plus seven. Schools, okay. Cases at schools right now as have been increased to eleven thousand four hundred and forty-three. Even higher than yesterday's uh Eight thousand four hundred and twenty four is from students, uh eight one thousand eight hundred and sixty four is from staff. One thousand one hundred and fifty five is from uh, unknown uh, individuals. Uh this is coming from nine 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 hundred and ninety seven school Yeah, you heard me. Nine hundred and ninety seven schools. Or the four thousand eight hundred and twenty eight so that's all almost a thousand schools, uh And to make things even worse, 48 schools are closed. Or the, I don't even want to guess off where they are, where they're from. Uh, could be some probably some uh, from uh, from the newer reported uh, cases. Uh, Long-term care homes uh, deaths is uh, now at a uh, it has not changed. Three thousand seven hundred fifty-three deaths for the last few days. Fifty-two. Out, we're back to fifty-two uh, out, outbreaks on long-term care homes. So please, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're kind of in a dangerous uh, part. We could be having wave threes as sooner or later. Follow coronavirus safety rules and regulations and call it on rules.
Stay safe, folks. They really need to give out the vaccines just sooner, and Moderna still needs to give us an explanation why.